Assalamu alaikum. Our lab today is about two subjects. The first of them is blood vessels of the heart, and the second is inside or interior of the heart. As you can see, this is the anterior sternocostal surface of the heart, which had been studied in the last lab. This is the auricle of the right atrium and this is the right ventricle while well, this is the left ventricle and that is the apex of the heart and you can see easily that from the right ventricle this is the pulmonary trunk and this is the ascending aorta in order to describe the blood vessels of the heart <coughs> we have to know that the blood vessels are coronary arteries they are right and left coronary arteries both of them originate from the ascending aorta which is this structure the first part of the ascending aorta is called sinus of ascending aorta which is a dilatation in its wall and from this uh, anterior sinus we have the right coronary artery projecting from the ascending aorta. The right coronary artery runs in between the auricle of the right atrium and the pulmonary trunk. And this sulcus is called the coronary sulcus, which is actually the anterior right coronary sulcus. And so when the right coronary artery originates from the sinus of the aorta, between the auricle of the right atrium and the pulmonary trunk then the right coronary artery run in the coronary sulcus specifically in the right anterior coronary sulcus that is between the right atrium and right ventricle on the surface also we can see the left coronary artery the left coronary artery originates also in between the left auricle which is auricle of the left atrium and the pulmonary trunk this is the left auricle and that is the pulmonary trunk and in between them this is the left coronary artery of course it is originating also from the ascending aorta that is this one the left coronary artery is very short trunk. It is a very short trunk. It will soon divide into an anterior interventricular branch of left coronary artery. That anterior interventricular branch descends in the anterior interventricular sulcus between the right ventricle and left ventricle. And therefore this uh, anterior interventricular branch of left coronary artery sometimes is called the anterior descending coronary artery. The other branch of the short trunk of the left coronary artery is called the circumflex, circumflex, uh, circumference artery. This is the circumference branch of the left coronary artery. So that is the main stem which is short trunk of left coronary artery dividing into anterior interventricular and circumflex branch the circumflex branch passing backward in the coronary sulcus which is called left posterior coronary sulcus between the left uh, atrium and the left ventricle so this is the view of the blood vessels from the front we have shown the uh, uh, right and left uh, coronary arteries and I will repeat them uh, in a summary this is the right coronary artery this one between the right auricle and pulmonary trunk and this is the left coronary artery between the uh, left auricle and the pulmonary trunk and so in order to follow other branches or other uh, course of these two arteries I have to turn the heart into other surfaces so I will turn the heart to this side 
you remember now this is the right side and that is the left side so I will turn the right side of the heart this side I will turn it to the uh, back and so surely I will find on that side the right coronary artery because it will keep on continue running in the coronary sulcus which is now running in the right posterior coronary sulcus here in the right posterior coronary sulcus you can see a branch projecting from the right coronary artery and this branch is on the inferior surface of the heart this branch is called posterior interventricular branch of right coronary artery that runs in the posterior interventricular sulcus which separates the left ventricle from the right ventricle then after the right coronary artery after uh, giving its posterior interventricular branch which is sometimes called posterior descending coronary artery it key points the right coronary artery key points to meet the circumflex coronary artery in what's called the, uh, uh, the crux of the heart uh, in the coronary sulcus, in the posterior part of the coronary sulcus. And then I will turn back to the sternocostal surface after uh, completing the description of the uh, right coronary artery. So I will describe now the left coronary artery and I will say as we said, this is the inferior interventricular branch of the left coronary, and that is the circumflex branch of the left coronary. The circumflex branch turned back, and so I have to turn the heart from the left side, just like that. This is the circumflex branch running back in the posterior part of the coronary side. That's all what is seen in that sample. Why I'm saying that? Because on theory basis there are many branches uh, from the coronary arteries that should be seen, but I, I couldn't see them in that sample. For example, from the right coronary artery we may see a branch here at the uh, lower border of the heart which is called marginal branch. We may see anterior cardiac branches, but grossly we can see the branches which are main, major branches. The other smaller branches will not be seen because they will be removed during dissection of the terrestrial cardiac. You know, we will not be able to see these blood vessels unless we remove the terrestrial cardiac. The terrestrial cardiac is removed in this sample. That's all about this sample, about the blood vessels. Actually, I have another sample, uh, although it is for the inside of the heart, but it also shows the right coronary artery between the right auricle and the pulmonary tract and this is the ascending area you can see the right coronary originating from the ascending area and this right coronary artery runs in the coronary sulcus which is right anterior coronary sulcus and this is the anterior branch which is called marginal artery that is running as a branch from the right coronary artery at the lower border of the heart. This is it. So clear. And we have other anterior cardiac branches. Of course, the marginal artery is one of the uh, anterior cardiac branches of the right coronary artery that runs on the lower border of the heart. And, the big one. and also, this is the pulmonary trunk. This is the aorta. And uh, I can look here for the left coronary artery. This is the pulmonary trunk. I will remove it. I will, I will, I will, I will replace, uh, dis displace it. And so I will directly see the left coronary artery giving anterior interventricular branch and then giving posterior branch, which is circumflex branch. So you can see this is the circumflex branch of the uh, left coronary artery. Excuse me. This one. Well, that is the anterior interventricular artery. So obviously you can see, we can see the major branches. I will turn this heart on the back and from the right side. 
This is the inferior surface of the heart. And this is the right coronary artery coming in the posterior part of the coronary sulcus, which is called uh, right posterior coronary sulcus. You can see that also here, the right coronary artery gives on the inferior surface a posterior interventricular artery and then continue in the coronary sulcus to anastomose at the crux of the heart with the circumflex branch that is this one of left coronary artery although it is cut but I have replaced here so this is the posterior interventricular artery branch of the right coronary artery running in the posterior interventricular sulcus between the left ventricle and right ventricle as if you know this arrangement you may start to describe the vein of the heart for example here I'm seeing uh, the posterior interventricular artery okay the branch from right coronary artery what is this is it another posterior interventricular artery no it is a vein it is darker in color than the artery this is the so-called middle cardiac vein that runs in the uh, posterior interventricular sulcus with the posterior interventricular artery middle cardiac vein and I will turn back to the anterior surface this is the anterior interventricular artery if I have a, a vein with the anterior interventricular artery I will say this is the great cardiac vein and also I have here with the marginal branch sometime a vein which is a small cardiac vein all of these a small cardiac vein with the marginal artery great cardiac vein I think this is a great cardiac vein yes this is the great cardiac vein it's part of it the great cardiac vein run with the anterior interventricular artery and from other side the uh, middle cardiac vein with, of running with the posterior interventricular artery are all tributaries of the coronary sinus that is supposedly running here uh, in the coronary sulcus but uh, it is open uh, during dissection so it is not seen here I hope you may see it in the other sample no, again it is not seen probably we'll see it in another sample that's all about samples prepared to you for the uh, blood vessels of the heart including venous drainage we couldn't see the small arteries we couldn't see the coronary sinus probably in the other samples we will look for it but this is the uh, what is required from you in manner or in subject of blood vessels of the heart thank you